All right, guys. Here for the All Star race here today, as Jay Juke and Eric Burton will lead us. It's gonna be one of the great races here tonight. And uh, let's take you to your starting grid. Take that green flag here today. Here we go. Green flag is out. Jay Juke, Eric Byrne will lead us. There goes a 16 and 17. Two teammates right there in the second row. But there Jay Juke goes out to an early lead. Eric Byrne lets her lead. And then she goes up into the wall. Oh, she comes down. Oh, almost into Linden Wright. And there goes Preston Plur. He will take the lead. There they go. Three wide right there trying to get by the 77. And the 77 rides up. Oh, she gets a little bit into Lyndon Wright. Lyndon Wright had to get off the brakes a little bit. But there's Trent Dunham. And there's Preston Floyd leading the way right now. And there's Hometown Boy. Hometown Favorite. Cody Long is going to be in the fourth position. Oh. Yeah, still getting up in the wall. And there's Cody Long is right up there in that all tail Chevrolet. Up in the fourth position. There's Trent Dunham going all over Preston Floyd. Oh, man. 13 way up the racetrack. Eric Burton. And there goes the 16 down to the corner. Here comes the one of Trent Dunn. Trent Dunn is going to try to get to the back of him. But he's not gaining on him. But there's Cody Lamas. Real good car he has today. He got by Eric Burton. But Eric Burton's going to take the inside line and get right back by him. There's Aaron Williams up here. Oh, somebody's on the already coming down pit road. And that's the 77 trying to do some pitch strategy. There's a 28 and the 99 racing each other. They're going to the corner again. Oh man, 16, and there's a 39 rides up again. Oh, there they go, three wide in the corner. Lyndon Wright, Dylan Pote, right behind his teammate James McLeod. There they go into the corner right here again. Oh, two rest Fenway cars. They get together a little bit. Lyndon Wright's gonna have to go up. Oh, 99 gets a little bit. Oh, 51, hard to the wall. Oh, oh no. Oh, Danny Wells. Oh, James Claus is in it. And Jack Rasmussen is in it. As Preston Plur will lead us to the caution flag. That was bound to happen. You guys go again. Oh! 17 put 24 up in the wall. Dylan Poti. Dylan Poti got a little bit of that. But not too much. But let's see what happened here. Get right up here in the front. Six and the 51 got together. Jacob Lawler and uh, Jack Rasperson, they got together into each other right there. And uh, they come back up. And he comes right into Dylan Pote, but Dylan Pote somehow saves it. He does not. Jacob Lawler spins. Oh, catches Dan Danny Wells, and then James Qualls gets a little bit of it. And there's uh, Justin Acosta getting also getting a little bit of it. And James Quad didn't get too much, but the 51 and the 5 did. Sean Henley got by it. Take another look at this.
You see right there, the six car is going to come up, and Jack Rasmussen is going to get right into the side of 51. They drive down the racetrack right here. They both look like they're about to save it. The six hit the wall. He can save it. He spun. The 15 comes, 51 comes right back up in front of the 24, and then Danny Wells gets into it. Oh, bounces right up into the wall. I think he wrote, he rolled it right on top of Justin Acosta. And then James Quaz gets a little bit of it. Let's round board with Justin Acosta, see what he just seen. He rolled right on top of Justin Acosta. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Roll right on top of his car. Stick it a green flag. As we are back in, James McLaren is going to be a little bit off pace as we getting ready to go back to green flag. He's on telling the lead lap, doing some strategy. See if that strategy will help him out. So we'll see. As we're getting ready to take that green flag here today. <laughs> here for the restart. And here we go. Green flag is back out. Preston Plourd. He's going to see what he can do out front, but J James McCoy is going to hold him up. He's going to have to get by him in the corner here. But there's Trent Dunn, and Trent Dunn is going to go on the inside. But there's James McCoy going to ride back up there. The 77 hit the wall, and he's going to get by the 77. And there goes Trent Dunham. Trent Dunn is going to be right there. And there's Aaron Williams coming up in the picture. There's Peter Saviano in the fourth position right there. But look at the 77. 77 ain't giving up. Going to go right back on the inside. She has a fast car. In the uh, Dan Weldon tribute car. Uh, there they go to the inside. Goes Peter Saviano. There's Cody Lamas to the inside. And there's Peter Saviano trying to get up there. Peter Saviano has a fast forward under him today. And he's looking to get up there to the lead. P uh, Preston Plourd slides up. There goes Pre uh, Peter Saviano. He slides up as well. And Zook Walker up in the top five. And there's somebody else up in the top five. Richard Johnson. Look at him mo making moves. Uh, there's Preston Plourd going to get up in the wall. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they almost made contact. There's Aaron Williams going to have to go three wide almost. And there goes Pre Peter Saviano to the lead. And there goes Trent Dunham to second. But there's uh, Richard Johnson. Oh, Caution's out. Oh, Eric Burton just spun. And Caution is out again. Oh, there's a 20. Oh, almost a contact with his teammate in the 11. Oh, there's a 15. Oh, there's a little bit of contact up here. Let's see who's going to have to pit before we take a look at what happened to Eric Burton. Danny Wells still up here in the top 10. He had damage. There they are. They all might be coming down this time. Let's see. I believe they will. 7 is 77 still a lap down. And Eric Burton. Yeah, Eric Burton just spun around, I believe. That's about all that happened. Uh, let's see who's going to come off pit road first. It's looking like the one that Trent Dunn is going to come off first. Peter Saviano, Richard Johnson, Aaron Williams, Danny Wells with damage. Still looking pretty good. So far, there's Dylan Pote and there's everybody else coming off pit road. Let's see, uh, see what happened to Eric Burton to bring the second caution out. Oh, him and uh, Jacob Lawler got together. And Jacob Lawler is going to get in the wall. And then the 13 is going to spin. And then there goes Connor Breen into him. Connor Breen got a little bit of it. And that's what happened to Eric Burton, and we will take you to green flag. All right, we come back to the green flag, and I believe Dylan Poteet is having a problem. Dylan Poteet is having a problem. He's going down pit road. I just seen him. And tough break for Dylan Poteet as we're getting ready to take that green flag with Trent Dunham out in front. Can Trent Dunham win two all-star races? He won season three. Can he win season five? He was locked into this one. And there he goes into the lead, but there's a 43, not going to be too shy about putting that bumper to him, though. And there he goes into the corner. Oh, oh, five, five car almost up in the wall, but there's the 43. 43 is going to take the lead in the corner. Here goes Aaron Williams, and there's James McLeod a lap down, but he's still pretty fast. They come out the corner. Oh, 
Oh! Oh man, I don't know why this game is lagging like that. That was weird. It's, damn, it's lagging pretty bad right now. I don't know what's going on. But anyway. Oh, there's 48. Oh, oh, they get together. But they keep it going. But the five's up into the top five. And I don't know how he's up there with that damage he got from that first wreck. There's Lyndon Wright. And there's Peter Saviano. And Peter Saviano is leading right now. But there's Aaron Williams. Don't count him out. Aaron Williams in the 29 right on the inside. But there's Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson right there. There's Peter Saviano. There's 17. They're going to make contact. Oh, oh, 17. 32. Oh, who's else? Who else? Nobody else. Just those two. Oh, Seth. Oh, Seth. Seth Cole got into it. And he's and he's smoking. Seth just hit the Seth. Oh, tough break for Seth Cole. He just hit the back of um. He just hit the back of the. I think the, it was the 16 and the 32 that spun down the racetrack. He just hit the side of the 32 and tough break for Seth Cole. He was running in the back, 25th, and that's not what he wanted to have happen. But here comes everybody down pit road again. This caution is out again. Let's see what else. See what's gonna happen this time. As uh, let's take a look here. Go to pit lane one. Uh, so I know now Seth Cole is gonna be the only car out of the race after that because he was smoking. So tough break for Seth. He's the only car out of the race so far. As this is our third or fourth caution, I believe. I think it's our third. For uh, the 16 and the 17 got together on that last one. And uh, who's going to come out first? It looks like Richard Johnson going to probably took two tires on that one. He uh, is out. Lyndon Wright. There's uh, Danny Wells and Cody Lamas. And Trent Dunham lost a lot on that pit stop. So, and there goes everybody else. So, let's uh, see what happened to the 16. Here's what happened. He's right there on the inside line. And you're going to see it right here. He's going to get into his teammate. He gets a lot more speed off than his teammate. And then his teammate comes down. And then him and William Duncan get turned. And everybody else misses him. Big hit for the 16 down to the wall, though. And then everybody misses him except... Seth Cole, right there. Oh, man. He hit him, and then he just started smoking. That is a tough break for Seth. Seth was way out. Seth was just not having a great day here today. Not He was trying to go for two in a row. Was not looking like that's going to happen. And uh, let's go back with uh, take another look at this. Now, as you can see right there, these guys come off the corner. And the 17 went way high. And then he comes down and gets into the... And he gets into the 17. And then 32 gets involved. 16 already had a bit of damage. And then comes the 20 car coming into this in a minute. And we'll come into it right there. Oh, man. Tough break for Seth Cole and William Duncan and Preston Plourd. Well, guys, Seth Cole was just smoking if you did not see that long ago. And he is back up on the racetrack. I guess they fixed that engine. And that is a first. Seth Cole was smoking big time. It looked like he was out of the race. And he's still in the race. That's crazy. That's a first ever. I don't know what the hell that was about. But there's Aaron, but there's Richard Johnson. He'll take the lead. And those cars are not going to be a factor. But here comes Aaron Williams. Going to be all over the back of him. But here, Richard Johnson going to go up a little bit. There he goes. But no, he's not going to get in the wall. And there goes a 43. But there's that 17 car. And there's James McLeod. James McLeod is still a lot down. But he's going to be he's still a little bit fast. I don't know how he's that fast. But there goes Aaron Williams back, and there's Seth Cole, and there's Kyle Sanuski up here. Oh, but the 51 has a problem. He's the first car out of the race. He has a gearbox problem. And there goes the 28, but there's a 43. Going to go up the racetrack a little bit. Oh, going to make some contact. Oh, and there's a 17. 17 comes down to his inside. Lyndon Wright has one of the best cars here today. It's a tough break for that 51. That 51 had a lot of damage from a couple wrecks, and he's finally out of the race. Tough break for the 51 team. And there goes the 28. And there goes and there goes Aaron Williams on the inside, but he's going to have to try to work a little bit harder to get to Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson, 
out front right now. There goes Peter Saviano, and there goes Aaron Williams getting hounded by Lyndon Wright. Let me tell you something. Lyndon Wright is right there, and he is not going to and he is not gonna let uh, Aaron Williams go. He's going to try to get to that second position. But there goes Richard Johnson, and there's Aaron Williams. They go a little bit high in the track. They are a single file. Oh, oh, oh. Trent Dunham just hit the wall, and there's Kyle Sanuski. And there they go three wide. There's Aaron, uh, Cody Lamas up the racetrack. They come off the corner here. Oh, man, a little bit of problems in the back. Cody Lama lost a lot of ground, stuck on the outside just there. Not too good for him. He needs to get back up to where he was. As there goes Aaron Williams. Oh, oh, Peter Saviano in the wall. And that was because of Dylan Pote trying to get his lap back. But Aaron Williams is doing everything he can to catch Richard Johnson. He goes up. He's using different lines, but he can't do it. And there Lyndon Wright. And how about... uh? Kyle Sanuski got himself up in the top five. And there goes there goes Richard Johnson up the racetrack again. He might hit it this time. But there's Aaron Williams losing the real low line. And Aaron Williams got a boost of speed. And he will go to the inside. He will try to go to the inside. But Richard Johnson holds the outside. He's not going to give up. But here comes Aaron Williams. He was in that low side to his advantage. But he's trying to get to the inside. But it's not working for him. Richard Johnson still beats him off the corner. As there goes Justin Acosta down the pit road. And there they go right there. Oh, Aaron Williams all over Richard Johnson, but Richard Johnson still beats him off the corner. Oh, man. Oh, man. And there's Aaron Williams. We're still green flag right now. And there's, uh, and there's Dan uh, Danny Wells still trying to get up in the top, top five. But there's Aaron Williams. Just cannot get to that 28. That 28 is just strong. Off that first corner, and there's a 17 gonna move up the racetrack. And there's Danny Wells. Danny Wells had damage from that first caution. He is passing cars. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, oh, 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 oh. Connor Breton and uh, Connor Breton and Cody Lamas just got some damage. Cody Lamas just got right into Connor Breton. Connor Breton was running in the 13th position. And there goes Dylan Pozzi. Dylan Pozzi's trying to get that lap back, and I think he might this time. Did somebody get together back there? Oh, 29 and somebody just got together on pit road. And I think the leader is... Who is the leader? I had no idea who it is. Oh, oh, 13 just got hit coming down pit road. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, I don't know what's going on here. There's some weird stuff going on on pit road. And I think the leader is the 15. The leader is the 15 of Kyle Sanuski. But it looks like he's pitting this time. So we'll go to the 18. But I don't. The 18 was on pit road, I believe. So it might go to the 16, wherever he's at. I don't know what's going on here. Was it, The leader was the, leader was the 15. It's not him anymore. There goes the 11. 11 going to get into the wall. 38 is going to get into the wall as well. 38 does not have his teammates set up, but he's running in the 19th position. Yeah, uh, 8th position. There goes, there goes Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson is the, one of the fastest cars here today. And I don't know where Aaron Williams is going to come across. I think Aaron Williams is going to... Uh, Justin Acosta will have the lead probably next time by. Or no, no, no. It's James Qualls. These two are still staying out, I believe. They got better. They got better pit stops than the other two. Cause James Qualls is out front right now. Great, great run for James Qualls so far. And there's there's Aaron Williams, but don't count him out too much. Aaron Williams is about to about to catch up to James Qualls. And Dylan Pote has one of the one fast car, but he he he's on the tail end of the lead lap now. He's gonna need something to happen. To get him back up there. To even have a shot. And there's Aaron Williams and Richard Johnson again battling for the second position. Look at Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson is on a mission to win the All-Star Race here today. He gets right by Aaron Williams. And there he is in the second position. And he's catching James Qualls. James Qualls is going to be stuck. Here comes Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams going to get there. But he's not there. And Dylan Pote going to have to give up. To, uh, uh, oh, 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 Aaron Williams sideways, but he saved that shit under the 24. But that would give Richard Johnson a big, big, big lead right now. 
And Richard Johnson is trying to take it. Oh, but he might hit the wall, and he will. Here comes Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams is going to get to the inside, and he will take take the lead trying to get into the corner but Richard Johnson has still has a great car after hitting the wall and he will not give up that lead to Aaron Williams we will take a look at the back of the pack see what's going on with these guys oh Lou Parker in the wall and there goes Aaron uh, Richard Johnson still right there but he will hit the, oh he hit the wall again here comes Aaron Williams Aaron Williams will get to the inside and Aaron Williams will finally get the pass but Richard Johnson is still fighting him on the outside it's a drag race but Aaron Williams will have the faster car on the inside but here comes here comes Richard Johnson trying to make the low low side work again it's been a battle between these two. Oh, oh he'll bump him he'll bump him in the corner he showed him that he did not like that here comes Richard Johnson back on the inside here Richard Johnson has it and he will get it this time, Aaron Williams just cannot hold the hold it out in front, and he will have to pit. Oh boy! Oh oh oh! Sean Henley! Oh oh! We got a mess. Sean Henley's in it. Ah, oh, James uh, James McLeod and caution will come out. This will be this will change everything. And then Sean Henley just hit the wall. Uh, Forty three was involved in it. We just had a big wreck at the end of this one. Uh, James McLeod, Sean Henley just got taken out coming to Pitt Road. I don't know who that was, but Cody Lamas, Cody Lamas got into him a little bit, but didn't get too much damage. And the hometown boy will have a shot at this one. Look at him. He's having a, he's having a decent run so far. Oh, boy. We had a few guys with damage. Let's see how many of them are going to retire out of this one. I don't think none of them are really going to retire. They're going to take the fronts off of their cars. The 43, I don't think he'll retire. Oh, he did retire. 43 is out of the race, Peter Saviano. Oh, so is James McLeod. They got a little bit more damage than I thought. Three cars are out of the race now. Only had one up to this point. So a break for James McLeod got involved in the wreck. Uh, James, uh, James Qualls will be. Uh, uh, no, I don't think he'll be leading it. But let's see. Uh, let's see what happened here. Uh oh, two arch nemesis right here. Sean Henley and Pichu. Watch what Pichu does. Pichu goes right up there and wrecks Sean while he was coming down pit road. And then Sean is gonna come up, get hit by Cody Llamas. Then Pichu's gonna stop, get hit by uh, James McLeod. Then one, two, three. It was about three cars right there, and then somebody else is going to get into it. The 43 of Peter Saviano is going to... Oh, yeah, he's going to hit the back of the 88. Oh, I don't know what that was about. Wow, I don't know what that was about. He moved Sean Henley out the way. I don't know what that was about. There's two Hendrick cars involved in that. James McClellan has a bunch of damage. Let's take another look at that. That was uncalled for by Peachy Walker. Took out some good cars in this one late in the race. Really didn't have... But he was having a great run. Really didn't have too much cars out of the race. But now we'll have about a couple out of this from that. Let's, uh, let's take another look at that. And you can see again. That he'll get turned by Pichu. Pichu was a culprit right there. And then hometown boy is going to hit him right there. He didn't do too much damage. But then James McLeod is going to come in. Just crunch Pichu and Sean Henley. And then the 43 got involved. But we'll take it to green. This is it guys. Whatever happens and now happens. Aaron Williams, Danny Wells, Lyndon Wright, they're all up here. Connor Breen has got up here. He has a chance now. And here we go. Green flag is out for the final three laps. Can Aaron Williams hold on to it? He's gonna have He's going to have him right here. Here comes Lyndon Wright. Lyndon Wright's going to be right there. He's going to get to the inside. Goes Aaron Williams. Get to the inside of the lot traffic. Here comes Lyndon Wright. Lyndon Wright's going to be right there. But I don't think he could get to Aaron Williams. There they go. They're, are they pitting? Here comes Aaron uh, Lyndon Wright. But Aaron Williams takes off. And he'll go up the racetrack a little bit. But here comes Lyndon Wright. And there's Danny Wells. And there's Richard Johnson. But there's, there's Aaron Williams. And there's Lyndon Wright. Aaron Williams is going to have to get by three good lap down cars. And then they go right there. Lyndon Wright. Here he comes. But there's Danny Wells. Danny Wells. He's going to go to the inside. He's going to make a pass. Here he goes right there. Side by side into the corner. Danny Wells is going to get a pass. And Danny Wells will lead the All-Star race. Here comes Aaron Williams to the final lap. And we got a fucking crash. There's Aaron Williams going to have to try to get by Danny Wells. Danny Wells holds it off the corner. This is it. Danny Wells.
Charles will hit him. Here comes Aaron Williams back on the inside. Gonna hit him again. Here comes Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson gonna make it to the inside. Here's a battle for the lead. Side by side. Aaron Williams. Put Aaron Williams. Wait. Here comes Richard Johnson. But the win is gonna go to Aaron Williams with win season five. All star race. What a finish. What a finish. Richard Johnson and Aaron Williams. Richard Johnson came out of nowhere. And Aaron Williams will win the All-Star Race. Oh, my God. Danny Wells had that coming out that last corner. And Richard Johnson tried to go three wide. Wow, what a freaking finish. Oh, my goodness. I don't know who all got wrecked. I seen Red Bell and Connor Breeden get together. Oh my God! Let's 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 just uh, take a look at everything that just happened here, and then take you to your results. Aaron Williams will win the All Star race here today. Oh my goodness! Wow! What a what a what a win for Aaron Williams! Oh, and Trent Dunham stops on the pit road. Look like he's out of fuel or something. He just stops on pit road. Let's see what let's, let's see what all happened here. Well, they were taking the they were taking the white flag. And who here's who was in the lead on the white flag. Danny Wells is in the lead. But watch where watch uh Richard Johnson came into play. He was fourth on the last lap. Coming to the last lap. Oh my goodness. And watch Connor Breen. Connor Breen goes way up high here. And watch this. They go four wide. Right here. Watch this. Connor Breeden hits Red Bell. Red Bell slides. Then Seth Cole's going to get into it. And big hit right there. Big hit for the 13 and the 12. Man, Connor Breeden wrecked big time right there. That's his second wreck of the night. And Red Bell just slides across the wall right there. But then, but then, then up here, this is where the good stuff is happening. Watch Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams and Richard Johnson. What Richard Johnson tried to take it three wide, and uh, Aaron Williams and Danny Wells right there side by side. Danny Wells trying to win his first All Star race, and there goes Richard Johnson. Watch that. They were almost three wide coming to the freaking line, and then side by side here, Danny Wells tried to get it everything he could get, but Aaron Williams barely beats Danny Wells by about a foot. And Richard Johnson was right there. Luke Walker was all there. Top five was so close on that last lap. But we'll take one more look at uh, what happened to Red Bell and um, Connor Breeden. Danny Wells, that was his race. He just he just went a little bit too high in the last corner on the final lap. And Richard Johnson tried to make it his race. He dominated, almost dominated almost almost all of it. But uh, no no no. Uh, let's go to TV two. And you can see right there again that Connor Breeden, right there. Oh my God! And Red Belt, they were sliding and they almost saved that shit, but. 20 car was there. They went four wide, and then Connor Breen took a shot into the wall. And then comes Eric Burton going to come into it. And Red Bell sliding across the wall right there. Man, that, they almost saved it right there. But Connor Breen and Red Bell got clipped by Seth Cole, and they both went into the wall. And that's what caused the caution to come out. And the race is over. There you see Danny Wells. Watch well, Danny Wells right here. Danny Wells goes a little bit too high. And and Aaron Williams is gonna go to the inside, and how about Richard Johnson? Richard Johnson was there as well, and they almost made it a three wide show to the finish. And Aaron Williams side by side with Aaron. How, look how close the top three are, and Aaron Williams beats Danny Wells to the line. Wow, what? Wow, wow that's crazy right there, man. Danny and Richard Johnson were right there. But we'll take you to the finishing results. Oh my god, what a freaking race. One thing's first. Well, let's uh let's take one more look at this. One more. And right there, Connor Breen and Red just smacked each other right there and then 
hard hit into the wall for Connor Breeden, man. We've seen a lot of hard hits in this one. But man, that was a hard hit into the wall by Connor Breeden right there. And that, that is not what he was looking for. And uh, we'll take you to your finishing results now. Big hit for Connor Breeden. All right, guys. Well, after that exciting race, we had Aaron Williams, 73, I think it was a uh, hundredth or a thousandth over uh, Aaron, uh, uh, behind Aaron Williams. Danny was, you could have said Danny was your, your, your all-star champ, season five. But Aaron Williams comes up and just upsets him again. Upsets him at the end. That was Danny Wells' race once he got by him. But Aaron Williams did not let him get away too much. And Richard Johnson restarted. Guess where he restarted? He restarted eighth on that last restart. And he got up to third. And he almost made a show out of that. That is that is tremendous driving by Richard Johnson. I had not seen anybody almost make a three-wide finish right there. I mean, this was, this was, this was just some driving by most of you guys here today. Uh, just a lot, a lot of things that went down. Ryan Acosta didn't even talk about him all day. He gets up to six. Cody Lamas, Cody Lamas, the uh, hometown, home state boy, got into some uh, problems a little bit late, and that's what kind of hindered his uh, chances at winning it. But I guess he'll still be happy about that. Kasanuski top ten. Pichu Walker. Jack Rasmussen in his first All-Star race did okay. Eric Burton, Jay Juke, Ron, uh, Sean Henley. Sean Henley and Pichu Walker going to Charlotte. It's not, it's not going to be two happy feelings between those guys after Pichu wrecked Sean. And there's William Duncan and there's Red Bell. They, uh, the, these guys got in some wrecks here. Jay Juke, Eric Burton, Red Bell, James Qualls, Trent Dunham, uh, Connor Breeden, Justin Acosta, Seth Cole, Dylan Pote, Peter Saviano, James McLeod, and Jacob Law got into some wrecks, and uh, that's what happened to those guys. But Danny Wells, Aaron Williams, Richard Johnson, great all-star classic battle to the end. And that is what we do here in the DeWalters Cup Series Season 5. The all-star race is cut, done, and we will see you at Charlotte, baby. Love you guys. Yeah, I know that was gay. I don't care. <laughs>